Hello and welcome to Super Sports Women TV. Nat Edwards and Mel Jones with you. Mel, let's kick things off with some swimming news. And it's a little bit of a setback for her London preparations, but Olympic gold medalist Jessica Shipper is recovering from emergency surgery when a cyst in her ovary actually burst. Yeah, well, originally I think they thought it was an appendicitis, yeah. but when they got in there, they, they certainly found that that cyst had burst, so she's had uh, emergency surgery. It'd be interesting to see how well she recovers from this. They've got a couple of meets coming up, especially the Santa Clara in the States, where yeah. she'll be racing against the top swimmers over there, which is perfect preparation for London. So fingers crossed all goes well and she's back in the pool as quickly as exactly, possible. Exactly, because she is in her third Olympics this time round and competing in the 100 and 200 butterfly, which is her specialty. So we're hoping that she can get a fingers medal. Fingers crossed, that's it. <laughs> all right, on to the basketball news. And the Opals, they've finally done the draw, the pool draws for the, um, the Olympics. And and they're in Pool B. Pool B, yeah. It's not too bad. Look, I think there's a little bit of nerves around, basically because of the uh, poor performance. Of, you know, the Opals would say that yeah. themselves in terms of the World Championships in 2010. So they've avoided the US, which is uh, one of the big ones to avoid. So hopefully we can get to that gr uh, gold medal playoff against them. But it does mean that we do have the number two ranked team in Russia. Russia. Yeah. We have Great Britain, who Tom Ma, the Bullying Boomers coach, is coaching bizarre, over there. Isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? Um, and they've also Brazil, Brazil as well. And then so. there's a couple of qualifiers who. Have who are still to, coming through at the exactly. moment. Exactly. So that's going to be interesting, but it is good preparation in that later on in June, I think it is, Brazil actually come down to Australia to take on the Opals in a three-match series, <laughs> and then the Opals then go to Europe and face Russia. It is. Uh, they couldn't have planned it any better, really. Perfect. They get a really good opportunity of playing um, you know, a European side in Russia, but also the, the South American side in Brazil. So they're playing you know, different styles of play as well, which is going to be really important for London. All right, let's recap round five that of the ANZ Championships and again another stellar round. Some of the winners, the Thunderbirds, the Vixens again in a one point thriller, the Mystics and uh, the Magic had their first win of the season, which is good news for them. It certainly is. You know, I think that they've been a little bit unlucky. They'd probably think themselves, but they've certainly hung in there. They were semi-finalists last year, so hopefully that just gets them on track now for the rest of the season. Let's talk again about, I know we talk a lot about the Vixens, but how can we not? Two weeks in a row, they've come from behind. They were eight points down in that final term, and to come back and beat the Firebirds, the defending champs, what an incredible it game. Was a, it was a brilliant win. I was lucky enough to, to be there and, and witness it all mm. happen. And it's one of those games where you, you understand how they won the game, but you're still sitting oh, yeah. there going, I still can't believe they actually did it. Uh, again, and we've spoken about it a couple of times, the ability for them to, to make wholesale changes yeah. right throughout the game certainly paid off for them. Their depth in their bench has, has certainly been gra great. It? And how of coming on again to... Three know, seconds to go. Three seconds to go. It's just, there you go. And I'm fortunate because Romelda Aiken for the Firebirds actually caught the ball down the other end in the goal circle, but one her foot was just a little bit out of the, uh, the court, so... Again, Diva Sport, got the it's ball. a game of centimetres, isn't it? That's right. <laughs> it sure is. But we should talk about the Firebirds. I mean, they were so close to getting their second win of the season last year. It's been a rough start for the defending champs, and uh, it's, it's a big game for them this week. It's, it certainly is. And, you know, they've missed a couple through injury from the last round, particularly um, Chelsea Pittman as well. Yeah. So hopefully that they're back in, in the mix now. And it's a, it's a tough one in terms of, yes, they have been the defending champions and they haven't had a great start to the season. Um, but that's where you start to really find out about the, the quality and the culture of teams as well so I'm really looking forward to this game and they're of course playing on the Gold Coast which is a change for them and they take on the Mystics so hopefully the Firebirds can start to get their season up and running That's now alright we should also just mention before we head off that the Green Edge our Australian cycling team it's the debut season of course and they've managed to secure a pretty big sponsor major sponsor in Orica and also I mean the, the start of this team has been absolutely oh, brilliant been to fantastic. be ranked third in the world already in just five months of competing yeah, for the women is just is just unheard of so they're going great guns and they're certainly um, rallying around really good support around them as well. And stay tuned to Super Sports Women TV because on Friday we have an exclusive interview with an up and coming tennis star, Ash Barty. She's just 16 years of age, just turned 16 and she's destined for big things. So we will have a little exclusive on her on Friday. So don't forget to uh, check that out. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter and MJ and I will be back next week with more sports news. We'll see you then. See ya.